Alright guys, well, I've got things soaking in WD-40. What I did is I went around and scraped off all the carbon and anything I could get at first. Wire brushed it. Um, and what I like to do, I like to soak things in WD-40 when it comes to the carbon. Seems to me it loosens things up, makes it easier to clean, that sort of thing. Now, just a little tip for you guys. Unless you set it in a piece of cardboard or the old gasket or the new gasket to keep your bolts in the right place, I just run nuts down on them on the head until I'm ready to take them out of my way. Um, right now what I did is I scraped as much of the gasket material off as I could. Um, you can see there's still a little bit here. I scraped in here. I'm just going to let that soak for a while and do what it's got to do. Um, I don't know that you have to. That's just me, my way of doing it. Um, do whatever you like, but uh, while I'm waiting for things to soak, what I'm doing is I'm running a tap down through the head, excuse me, down through the block for the head bolts. Now you want to take full turn of this, quarter back. Now you'll notice I'm hitting here. Now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to another way of doing this. There's a couple of different ways that you can avoid obstructions without taking things apart as soon as I get to it kind of a mess around here in this case what I'm gonna do now you could just switch to a tap wrench like that which is a good way to do it but I also have a ratcheting tap set it's meant for finer stuff but it works really nice on these items here Tighten her down, make sure we're in the right position. Okay, see how there's a little switch there? Down is for right, left, center is locked. And all I have to do is ratchet it, or I can leave it and get it in the center. See now it's locked again. That means I can do it just like normal. Half, one quarter turn back, half, one quarter turn back. That's how you want to actually tap a hole. I mean, I'm just cleaning threads, but technically you should do that when you're tapping a hole. I can actually run it all the way down and not be harming anything if I want to. Now, I probably should technically be using a chase instead of a 